I spent some time driving around the city, going to various locations that had meaning for me over the years from 2009 to 2012. That's the period that I lived in Birmingham full time. And everything that I felt, it all came back to this place. This place is called Old Car Heaven. It was called Old Car Heaven. It was a venue, a recording studio, um, and I spent a, a lot of time here. I moved back to Birmingham in 2009 with the hopes of recording a record and then going to do great things in the music industry. And I stumbled upon this place and met a man who was an engineer here, had a recording studio. He introduced me some, to some musicians who I'm still dear friends with to this day. But I gave this guy 10 grand, and I'd never made a record before. I had no idea what it was like to make a record. And I paid the price. I lost $10,000 on a record that was never made. It's all my fault, and I'll tell you why. This is the moment where I knew it was all my fault. It was the first night of recording, and we were opening up the computer program. I was getting my guitar set up, getting the amp set up, and I was asking him about the interface. And he said, don't worry about the engineering. Don't learn the engineering. I'm the engineer. You're the musician. Focus on the art. Just focus on making music. And I was like, okay, fine. That sounds good. Well, inevitably when you record a record, you're gonna run into some problems. Something's not gonna sound right, you're not gonna like the mix, the guitar tone, the vocal quality, blah, 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 the compressor, blah, 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 blah. Well, because I had given up my own agency and not learned what I needed to learn because I put my trust in this person, this person had the permanent power over the creative process. And I, being naive, I didn't demand for him to teach me everything. And so I just sat back while we had these problems. Turns out he was not as competent as I thought he was. Turns out he did not get along with the other musicians. It was in chaos for a while because I didn't take it upon myself to learn every single thing that I needed to learn. Again, it's all my fault. This weight has never left me. It's like a ghost that's in my brain all the time wandering the halls of my thoughts and every time I take on a new project, every time I, I try to attack something new or get excited about something new, there's a little thing in my head that says, but that record, you didn't make that record, you spend 10 grand, you're a failure. This state that I'm in, in Birmingham, every time I come back, it's because of this place, because I never finished the record, which means, well, the logical conclusion, is I, I need to finish it. I have all the tracks, I've got the songs, I just have to put in the time. Now that I'm not concerned with getting drunk all the time or concerned with listening to my fears about how inadequate I am or how untalented I am and do this myself. See, I learned how to record music. I learned all the engineering after this debacle because I will never let someone determine my creativity ever again. I will never let someone have control over my creativity. I do things because I want to do them, not because someone is gatekeeping me. And people do that all the time. And it's not cool. But this state that you see me in right now, it's never going to go away until I finish this record. It's this built up bitterness and resentment that I've been carrying with me for the past 10 years. And it's all coming to a head now. The reason that I was so depressed on the ship is because all this bitterness and all this resentment that's been building in me over the past 10 years from this experience, which was my fault, manifested and it tore me apart. And I'll never let that happen again. And I know I'm ranting, I know I'm sounding pretty dark right now, but I mean this is the most positive thing in the world. If you're watching this video and any of this resonates with you, the thing that you're scared to do, that you know you need to do, that's deep down in your soul, go do it right now.